Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs. Is that any better? How's oh. oh, your video game? Yeah, the pound eats me. I'll just. We'll take them for three. How much you got in the football boots? Uh, eight. Because they're board boots. Yeah. They're like a proper board boot. I know they've had a good night, um, but yeah. <laughs> they're like 140 pound boots. So. And how much are the running trainers? Um, five are on them because yeah. they're like new. Yeah, they're quite good as well. But if you wanted them both, we'd do them both for ten. Uh, And how much are you Jordans? I have 15 on them. Not too sure, boys. Not too sure. Can I take both of these for a tenner? Did you say? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll take. I'll do that, please. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. You can get some. Yeah. They need a good, quick clean, don't they? Probably a bit of paint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll take both of them, please. Thank you. How much you got on your Essex? Penny. Each? Yeah, each. Yeah. Yeah, just go around. Nah, These might be good. I'll take them for three. I'm just going these. Three pounds. Three pounds? I think we definitely take that. Yeah, I'll take that for three, please. Yeah. 15 for these three. That's a banger. I think that's quite rare. I think it's a third game group kit. So we'll get them. We'll get that. Beautiful condition. Beautiful. These are cool, aren't they? Ed Hardy's so sick. How much you got these, mate? Four. I think you should get about £20. What we have. Oh, come here, man. You look interesting. How much you got in these? I'll try again in a minute. Just wait for it. Excuse me, how much you got in these? Seven. I'll do it for six, is that all right? Yeah. yeah, thank you. Oh, all right, let's have a little rummage around. Oh, we've got here one Asics fleece. It's pretty cool. Bit bobbly though, so I'm going to leave it. Decent size. But apart from that, there is not a lot for us to be interested in. And uh, yeah, here we are. Look at all the stock we have picked up today. Absolutely crazy. I'm absolutely bonkers. As you can see, I've picked up a hell of a lot of trainers as per usual. So let's go through what we picked up and I'll tell you exactly how much I paid for it and how much we are looking to get back from today's haul. So let's get crack-a-lacking.
I don't really know where to start. Let's start with these. So, the first pickup is a Sylvanian house cottage. Should be looking at about £15. But what I am going to do is wait until we've got a bit more so we can bundle up and make one big Sylvanian family bundle and aim for around the 25 to 30 We then have this Sylvanian family treehouse uh, thingy, my Bobby? I don't know, something like that. And again, going to wait until we get a few more pieces and bundle them up and aim for that big £30. But again, only had to pay two. So that was really nice indeed. Now, this is a brand that you all want to be on the lookout for, and it's Pyronex. Pyronex is a beautiful, beautiful French brand, beautiful downfill jacket, uh, UK size 16. I think it's a 16 women's or a 16 kids. I'm not too sure, but anyway, it doesn't matter. The price is a whopping £100 easily. This is a £100 coat all day long, even if it's kids still a hundred pound these retail at about 350 quid so definitely be on the lookout for pyronex designed in france bish bash bosh paid only 10 pounds so really really happy with that beautiful zip beautiful condition downfill happy days here we have a 2018 2017 england away shirt paid five pound should be looking at anywhere between 25 and £30, especially now that the World Cup is at the end of this year. So I might just hold on to it and uh, take take offers. But I'm going to I'm just going to wait, I think. I'm going to wait, put it on near the World Cup or put it on at World Cup prices now and aim for that big 30. A pair of box standard true religion jeans, really nice condition, size 27, beautiful uh, embroidery badge on the inside. Made in the USA, 27, should be an easy 25 pound and only paid four. So pretty, pretty easy, really. We then picked up a pair of Armani Exchange jeans. Again, beautiful condition, beautiful flare condition as well, actually. Flare fit, beautiful, B-E, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. How many times do I want to say beautiful? Armani Exchange is probably the lesser of the models that you want to be on the lookout for, but should be an easy 25 pound. Now this is a shirt that I am uh, absolutely buzzing to find. This is the 2018-2017 third kit. If you find any third kits of any football team, it's probably worth picking up. Believe it or not, pay £5 along with the other one, and this should be an easy £50 now. So God knows how much I could charge in the World Cup. Probably about 70 in the World Cup. But for today, I'm, I'm going to put an estimation value of 50 quid. That's right, 5 zero enough said bloody happy with that bish bash flipping bosh and in the same deal as them two england shirts we've got this germany ralph Lauren long sleeve rugby shirt beautiful embroidery beautiful beautiful condition and again should be looking at anywhere between 25 and 30 pound and only paid five just a box standard pair of air cooled memory foam sketches these are the sketch airs Beautiful condition, plenty of life left. Should be a easy £20. A pair of what I do believe is unbranded walking boots. High tops, waterproof. Not a big, big seller, but a very, very fast seller indeed. Paid £4 for these and should be looking at around the 25 maybe pushing that £27. Nice UK size 11, so nice big size. Should fly off quite comfortably. We then have these beautiful brand new look at that they are brand new not no box no tags these are adidas silis silis baxter is a skateboarder so this is a collaboration and i should be putting an estimation value of around 50 pound these are brand new unworn beautiful beautiful condition absolutely stunning pair of trainers paid six pound she knocked herself down she asked for seven and then within 10 seconds as you probably saw she said oh you can have them for six I was going to pick them up for seven, seven into 50. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But the fact that she knocked down another quid off means we've got it a quid cheaper. So, beautiful condition, beautiful price, quick sellers, happy days. We then picked up these Vibram Solve North Face Gore-Tex walking low cut boots. These should be an easy £30. They are slightly worn, but still got a lot of life in them. Should be an easy 
30 pound and i think we paid three so uh i really cannot grumble today's car boot was so so cheap so yeah happy with that sticking with the walking boots we picked up these at tech light columbia low cut boots beautiful condition again omni grip which means it just grips better uh yeah pretty plain pretty boring but the values there paid six should be looking at anywhere between 30 and 35 what what's this what's this what do we have here boys and girls a pair of lokes these are the 200B, I think. Yep, 200B, just sort of plain Derby shoes. Should be uh, an easy 30 to 35 pound. Beautiful condition, paid three quid for these. So yeah, definitely was not leaving a pair of Lokes for three quid behind. Easy sellers, fairly decent condition. There is slight rip in there, but uh, yeah, it is what it is at the end of the day. But we'll, we'll go with it, I think. It's starting to rain. So we better better quickly get some of this uh, through because we ain't got long left before it absolutely hammers it down. A pair of Timberland deck shoes. Again, beautiful condition, beautiful colour, perfect season. Coming into spring and summer, these will fly around the £30. Paid up for these, actually. We paid £8 for these. 8 into 30 Money is definitely safe in them. So, uh, yeah, really, really happy with that. 8 into 30 Bish, bash, bosh. See you later, boy. We then picked up these beautiful, beautiful Nike Air 270 Reacts. Again, I can't get my flipping words out today. Uh, beautiful condition, really. I thought that these might have, like, the Ben & Jerry's vibes, don't they? They've got a bit of Ben & Jerry vibes. Definitely got some Ben & Jerry's. You know what? After this, I might go and treat myself to some cookie dough Ben & Jerry's ice cream. Let me know in the comment section below what your favourite Ben & Jerry's is. Mine's definitely cookie dough. Anyway, you're here to know what the value of these bad boys are. So I paid £15 for the pair. So they owe me £7.50 each. These should be a £30 to £35. Beautiful condition. Just need a clean. And then these are the Nike Air Vapor Maxes. Same size, same seller. £15 for the two, so £7.50. And I can sell these all day long around the 35 to 40 pound mark. These are pretty, pretty funky. These are Adidas Cosmic Boosts. These are in beautiful condition. Plenty of life left. And should be anywhere between 30 and 31 pound 99p. I think 30 pound is probably the limit. But if you can find these in a men's size, they can go for a lot of money. They're really nice, wacky condition, wacky design, Cosmic Boosts. Easy peasy lemon money. Easy peasy lemon money. Now that is a new one that we're going to stick with. Easy peasy lemon money. Let's go back into the hall. Ah, these are glistening in the sun. I thought it was going to rain, but it's not. These are brand new and unworn. These are the Skechers Street Memory Phone. Pretty dazzling. I mean, the, the look at them. They are flipping awesome. Brand new, should be an easy £30. Nike Air 270, slightly more worn than I'd like, but they only wanted £3 for these, so we had to take them. Beautiful condition. Again, I've mentioned it in a few of my videos. When you are buying stuff like this, do the bubble test. Squeeze on the bubbles. Make sure that they're not popped. They should be as solid as a flipping rock like these are. These should be an easy £25 to £35-ish. Depends how clean we can get them. But decent size for women's, nice size 5, and they will fly out pretty, pretty quickly. A brand of hotter shoes, brand new, unworn again. These should be a comfortable £25. I'm trying to learn a little bit more about hotter shoes. I'm trying to learn about more about just shoes in general. Again, just trying to completely, completely smash the shoes this year. These are Cushioned Plus. These should be an easy £25. Brand new. Only owes us three quid, so pretty happy with that. Now, if these were my size, I would have kept them. Nice, beautiful, brand new Ed Hardy with the embroidered tiger. Look at the tiger. That is a beaut. That is absolutely beautiful. Might get that tattooed on my chest. No, I'm not that brave at all. <laughs> brand new, unworn, 20 quid all day long. Owes us three. Another pair of Nike Air 270s. These are obviously a lot bigger than the ones we've just shown you. These do need re-insoles. 
but that's not too much of an issue. We can reinstall them. Uh, based on that, probably looking at about the £30 mark. But I got these with the Lokes for £6, so these owe me three. Beautiful condition considering. Uh, just bang them in the washing machine or use the rejuvenated kit to wash the trainers itself. But yeah, should be an easy £30. Clark's is another pair of sort of shoes that I'm trying to look learn. There's a lot of money to be made in Clark's. These are the active wear. They're almost like deck shoes. These should be quite easy. A lot of people buy Clark's because it's true to size. If you're going to get your feet measured, 90% of this country probably get their feet measured at a Clark's. So they're trusty. They've got that trustworthy behind the brand. They're cheap enough. These should be about £30, if I'm being honest. Probably maybe a little bit more. But for the sake of this video, we're going to aim for 30 Beautiful brown leather condition. Beautiful condition. Plenty of life left. Owes us, I think it owes us about a fiver. So five into 30. We will take that. Right, we have three Nike Air 97s. These are absolutely stunning, aren't they? Look at the beautifulness. Beautiful. They're quite heavy as well. They're solid. Solid pair of Nikes. These are lilac and grey condition. Beautiful condition as well. Nike do make some bloody awesome trainers, don't they? These should be an easy £40. Then have the Nike Air 97 again, but these are the Triple White. Again, from the same buyer. Same condition, same size. Beautiful price. Uh, oh, yeah, we paid 35 for these, 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 them and another pair of shoes. So they owe us about £5 each for sake. Uh, these should be a comfortable £45 because they're triple white. Probably a little bit better condition as well. Nice colourway. I'll aim for about the 40 to 45 And the last pair of Air Max 97s. These are sort of quite unusual. I've never seen these before, to be honest. Not going to lie to you, but without doing my research, I can't see why they won't be around about the 35 to 40 pound mark considering... They're quite similar to the 97s. They probably are 97s. But I don't want to give any false information. I'll leave a screenshot around here now. Exactly what I do find out. But yeah, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And with the same deal, we've got these new balance minimus. These are one uh, 1010 V2s, I think. 1010, yeah, 1010 V2s. Beautiful condition. Look at that. Vibrant soles as well. Should be an easy £35. I'm going to go with on them. Beautiful condition, beautiful size. Bish bash, flipping fish. You know what? We're going to go with this. These, e, these, mate, you want to be on the lookout for Bose remote controllers. Bose, we all know, beautiful brand. But the peripherals and the accessories sell probably even better than the actual <laughs> systems itself. This is just a remote for the RC1 AT1. Should be looking at anywhere between 45 and 50 pounds. And we paid two. Let's sink. Let, let that just sink in. Who's paying £50 for remote control? Well, if you've got a Bose system and all you need to do is replace, instead of buying the £200 system, you're going to buy a £50 remote, aren't you? So, really happy with that. What a find. Well happy. I'm actually buzzing. Today's haul has been a banger. Disc only Mario Kart. I've got two Mario Kart wheels to add to that. Should make it about £20. Not, more, more, not much to say, to be honest. I think it's probably a little bit scratched as well, but we have a JFJ that we might use. That's not too bad, actually. But we'll spin it through the JFJ, make it nice and squeaky clean, and aim for that £20 mark. Eddie Bauer boat shoes. Again, perfect time to be selling stuff like this. Unfortunately, they're not as worth as much as I thought. Uh, these are only probably worth about 20 quid, but they only owe us three. Beautiful condition. Look at that. Might aim for the 25 because of the condition. Nice big size as well. Nine. I think they're size 9. Yep, size 9. That should be an easy 20, 25 pound. Come on then, Nana. What have you got for us? What have you got for us? This is Nana from Peter Pan. Still with its brand new in tags. This is actually a bit of a uh, bolo. This should be anywhere between 25 and 30 pound. And only had to pay a whopping two Skridaroonies. Box standard pickup here. Hugo Boss. Nice straight fit. Nice size. Easy 20 quid. Ozers 5, 5 into 20. Is it the best? But it's bread and butter. You cannot sniff out them bread and butters. You've got to get them. You've got to pick them up. Hugo Boss, strong brand, decent condition, decent size. It will sell 
20 quid is better in my pocket than somebody else's. We then have this pair of Skechers, relaxed fit, just sort of like a go walk, really casual pair of trainers, nice sort of beigey gray color, nice sort of leather brown hit on the here on the back, beautiful condition, plenty of life left. That is the motto of today's video, plenty of life, like I have. I've got plenty of life left, so is these trainers, easy peasy, 20 quid, let's go, bish bash, see you later. Right, back into the video. We've now got a pair of sock and ease. These are the XT600 running trainers, also known as the Shea XC Squared. Not much to say. I wanted these and these did a deal. £10 for the pair, so they owe me £5 each. That should be a £25. But really, I wanted these. These are beautiful. These are Adidas Copper 20.1s, I think. 20.1 triple silver triple gray these believe it or not should be a 50 pound pair of trainers in the condition that they are in now if you can find these new or in excellent condition you can be pushing that 150 pound mark there is obviously a few scuffs here and there but i was not leaving them for fiver they will tidy up quite nicely i'm, a, I'm aware of the chunks missing here as well but okay okay let's let's be conservative i still think they're going to be worth about 35 40 pound that's very very conservative considering they are the 20.1s which are the um, better end models oh if you didn't know pair of trainers football boots are in normally three levels you've got beginner intermediate and expert and these are the expert ones so that is why i was picking them up expert normally means you can charge a lot more than a beginner's one flipping out my back is killing we have these pair of sort of high top timberland suede boots paid five or six pound should be looking at anywhere between 30 and 35 pound nice condition nice size need a bit of a tidy up but they should fly out around the 30 pound mark a pair of asics gel nimbus 19s triple black with sort of like white insoles oh my god my back is getting uh, should be looking at anywhere between 20 and 25. Owes me three. And last but not least, certainly not least, we have this bloody hell. I just got scared by a pair of trainers. These are <laughs> the Skechers Go Walk 5s. Should be anywhere between 20 and 25 pound. Nice sort of brown leather and denim sort of two-tone effect. Beautiful condition. Plenty of tread left. Plenty of life. And that, guys is the end of the video oh my god i'm gonna be a cripple by the time i'm 30. oh and yes i'm not even 30 yet so don't say anything guys but thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy that video please do think about subscribing and if you did enjoy that video anyway just please smash that like button what a flipping haul it's just trainers for days that is what we're known for around here and uh yeah our best i best start getting on really shouldn't i should start listening to some of these things. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new around here. Like, please do like. And I'll see your beautiful faces in the next one. Peace out, guys. And boom.